Well, I mean, you know, I don't think anybody would have predicted this. Um, you know, and, and that's what I told them in there. I, I, want to, I want them to enjoy the moment. It's still the same, right? They, there's some guys that been here in 2005 when SMU, and then, you know, we beat Oklahoma, and then you play SMU. So, uh, you know, I told them at the beginning of two days that we were an okay football team. We were an okay football team. And we were, but we were young, we had an athletic ability, but we were going to have to grow up. And we're going to have to do it every week. I think the extra week that we didn't play the first week of the season helped us. And, uh, you know, we're starting to get some young, every week, some young players are starting to step up and make more plays. And, uh, you know, that's, that's how you get better as a football team. And that's, that's all we've asked. You know, I've, I've kept my nose down. I think they've kept their noses down, uh, even though it's, there's a chance not to do that. And I, I told them, you know, here's what you got to understand. It's, it's just as hard to handle success as it is to handle disappointment. Well, you know, it's, you know everybody talked about Jerry Hughes. Uh, you know, we, we felt like that Wayne Daniels has been a good player. You know, we rotated guys. Uh, Corey Grant had a couple sacks. You know, those guys that come on, again, we go back to Corey Grant and, and Kelly Griffin. We lost the two senior tackles last year, and everybody said, well, those, Fred, those guys won't be even close. And all they did was, you know, somebody told me they couldn't do it. All they did since last spring is just get better, work hard, get better, had a great summer, had a great two days, gained some confidence. And, uh, you know, Corey Grant was a guy that played tight end. We had him in, we, it, he, he hardly played any football, but we had him in a camp. And at 300 pounds, he ran a 4-9 for us. And uh, we knew we were going to have to come in to this place. I told him um, this wasn't going to be about defensively. We could hold him at 7 or 14. I said, we're probably going to have to score 30. Because I believe when you come to BYU and Provo, you've got to score a lot of points to beat them. And, you know, we we're fortunate defensively. We made some plays, and that didn't happen. But we did score in the 30s. But I believe when you come here, you've got to do that. I mean, the last time we won, we had to score 51, for heaven's sake. We have five games left. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's the championship right now, up to this point, has gone through either Utah, BYU, or ourselves. Those are the people that have won the championship since 2005. We knew this was going to be one of the big two. That's not saying anything less about UNLV or San Diego State or Utah or, or uh, why have we have to go to Laramie. I mean, we have some tough ball games. San Diego State is getting better every week. Mm -hmm. Okay, I mean, everybody we have left to play is, is going to be a tough ball game for one reason or another. It'll probably be seven foot of snow when we get to Laramie. I mean, you know, it's so uh, we got a, we got a lot of work to do, and uh, you know we got to stay healthy. Been able to do that, so I told them we got to get back in the training room. We hit, that was a physical ball game. We got to we got to get ready to go and, and get our whole football team. But the good point here, part is uh, we're going to get a chance to uh, play at home again. I mean, this, every other week has kind of worked out okay, and you know we'll see how it all goes. Evans played unbelievable. They've played unbelievable all year, and um, you know it's it's great to have them on our side. No, we uh, you know that's one thing we we focused on. We've uh, be more effective in the passing game. And, um, you know, we've got a lot of athletes, and, you know, my job is just to get them the ball. It's just an impressive thing. Speed defeats anybody, you know. You got a group of athletes, you want to try to spread it out and get it to everybody. You know, I think we did that tonight. It showed up. I mean, yeah, you always want to start fast, you know. We are in a different environment, a little hostile, you know. And, uh, I mean, we just wanted to get up quick, man. Obviously, we did. We are. Whenever you come into a stadium like this where it's going to be packed around, you know that you're coming into a dogfight. You know, it's going to be a great game. Both teams are going to bring their A game. So it's kind of like we kind of just fed off each other and just went out there and just executed. Yeah. Today was one of those days where it was clicking for us. And uh, we came out with a little fire in us, uh, played up to our ability. Um, still have some things to work on, but no, I'm more surprised at all. Is this the most complete game that the team's played all season? I believe so, it was. Yeah. And uh, kind of got it last week. Uh, in the second half, it kind of felt like we finally getting things synced up, and uh, this week it all came together for us.